My name is Karen Jackson, and I am here today asking for your support to become the next AEA president. Having served on our AEA board for the past three years and been a member of AEA for 10 years, I am confident that I'm prepared to lead us to a bright future where belonging is the guide star of our organization. The AEA membership is its lifeblood and my job as president will be to ensure all members feel welcomed and engaged, not only in the activities of AEA, but also I hope to include more and more of your voices in leadership opportunities for our collective future. In my role as a faculty member at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University in the Leadership Studies Department, I am trained in and guide others through embodied leadership that rests on heart-centered, servant-oriented, and inclusive practices. I fundamentally believe we will thrive together when we are leading together. Consider voting for me. I wish to look back over a successful AEA presidency and see a healthy, thriving organization. Over the years, having met and spoken with so many of you, I've learned we represent a great diversity of values and motivations for our membership. Your personal and professional stories continue to move me and push me to be a better leader. Authentic and open communication is a hallmark of my leadership in AEA and will continue should I be elected president. Everyone's voice matters and should be formally included as often as possible. Experiences I've had creating this type of inclusive and authentic communication include a season where I worked with Habitat for Humanity International to understand the effectiveness of a feedback loop initiative they were implementing with 12 neighborhoods across the country. We learned from this work that intentional participatory engagement of members requires shared responsibility for workload, shared recognition of achievement, thoughtful communication and engagement in robust conversations. If you joined AEA for any of the same reasons I did, you cherish the annual conference. The learning, the networking, and the growth sometimes lifelong professional and personal connections often begins at the conference. As your president, I hope to support many opportunities throughout the year where you as future leaders can get to know one another and cultivate your professional networks. AEA thrives when we lead together. Please consider voting for me. Our differences and our similarities working together through good governing principles is what builds our organizational strength. I have been an AEA member since 2013 and began active service roles in 2016 as a TIG leader for the nonprofits and foundations TIG. It was there that I began to understand what it means to be an active part of a member-led organization that values my perspective, even when it's different from the majority. Over the years, collaborating with AEA staff, board members, working groups, and task forces has given me the opportunities to hear many different perspectives and to share my own. On occasions, my perspective differed and together we work through those differences to find common ground that would positively move the organization forward. The COVID-19 pandemic and social unrest following George Floyd's murder served as a classroom like no other for my education as a sitting AEA board member and co-chair of the presidential committee for the first ever virtual conference. While governance is often hidden, Good governance can be felt by all of the membership when even in troubled times, things run smoothly. I have extensive training in and have trained many other nonprofit boards in the policy governance model 
used by the AEA board. I was a key player in the supporting the development of training and supporting processes to ensure AEA leadership operates under the model with excellence. AEA thrives when we lead together. I hope you will consider voting for me. I am in a position to run for president because many leaders along the way saw potential in me. I am committed to doing the same for others. As president, I want to expand the governance training to take leadership so that others will better understand how the AEA board functions. The board should always be a flowing river of talent that is fed by many streams. I hope to continue the efforts of past AEA leadership to engage TIG leadership across the year and find new ways to include their voices at the board level. As long as diverse ideas, thoughts, and strategies are actively engaged, AEA will continue to remain relevant to membership and to thrive. We will model thriving together by leading together. I am deeply dedicated to the field of evaluation and show this by continually educating and mentoring colleagues. I am the product of such coaching and mentoring myself. I believe in the power of evaluation to transform communities, organizations, and if we work together effectively, even our global society can be affected by our field. Leading from the heart with the intention of finding shared understanding is how I promise to include membership in AEA leadership. I want members to know and feel how important we all are to the future of this organization. One of my favorite authors, Maya Angelou, says, my mission in life is not merely to survive, but to thrive and to do so with some passion, some compassion, some humor, and some style. So let's put together our collective passion, compassion, humor, and style to move AEA forward. AEA thrives together when we lead together. Please vote for me for your next AEA president. Thank you. Dr. Karen Jackson lives in beautiful Greensboro, North Carolina with her two-year-old Do Doberman, Onyx. Karen serves in the role of assistant professor in the Leadership Studies doctoral program at North Carolina Agricultural and Technical State University. She teaches research, she teaches research methods, ethics and decision-making, policy, and leadership for community and civic engagement courses and facilitates dissertation development. Her work is grounded in complex systems theory, transformative leadership theory, and social justice. She brings a deep understanding of community engagement, social research, and evaluation methods, and societal implications of inequity to her research. Dr. Karen Jackson is also the owner of Catalyst Innovative Consulting Services. Catalyst is a research, evaluation, and assessment firm. Our Connect EFI, Evaluate, Focus, and Innovate division is focused on community engagement, leadership development, and creativity and innovation.